In Christmas of 2007, uh, Rock Harbor and Food for the Hungry uh, gave us an opportunity to sponsor children in Peru. And six months later at the Rock Harbor World Missions Fair, uh, there was a Peru table and we found out that we could actually go down and meet our sponsor kids. So we signed up right away. We were fortunate enough to make the team. And six months later, we were standing in the rainforests of Peru. Just the opportunity to, to lead teams to, to Peru. It was scary, and we had no idea what we were doing. We had never led anything before, uh, let alone a group of doctors down to the rainforests of Peru. So um, it was just a leap of faith. The first time I met Juan, uh, I was really nervous. We did a home visit, and his mom made us lunch, and we we spent the entire day in his home, in the home of my friend, and I invited him to go to the Bible studies that we were that we were running in his in his community. And that first trip on the last night, uh, Juan accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior, and it's just been the most amazing experience. We were so overwhelmed with the community in Peru, how they all knew each other, how they all got along. There was such a sense of community, complete poverty, no running water. They're living in absolute poverty, and yet they were so rich with community and with friendship and family. And my wife and I came home, and that first weekend, my wife baked cookies, and we started going around door to door in this neighborhood, knocking on doors of neighbors that lived two doors away that we had never spoken to for eight years. I went to Peru thinking that I had something to give these people. This isn't about Sunday mornings. This isn't about us. This is about giving ourselves away because we want more of what we saw uh, and what we learned from the people of Peru when we went on mission.